This video is for the clueless, by the clueless. If you're new to e-bikes and you don't know how to check your batteries working, this is for a Halong battery case, down tube type. Halong make the battery cases, I don't think they actually make the battery. First, switch it on here. I meant to say, my battery's the wrong way around, because it's the only way I could get it to fit. But it still works. I thought I would be able to press this like that and it would stay on. But really, it's just that, that's all you get. So it's full, because it's got three green lights there. That's the full side. On you, I'll be on the other side with the battery the other way around. When it's only red, that's it. It's finished, really. It's low. So that's the first way to check. And you can't just go like that and hold it. You need to keep holding. I'm using my nail, but I prefer to use, use my actual skin. But it's a bit tricky here. Yossi Power have a YouTube channel, and you can check. And the way they do it, it's a 40 second video or something. They just say, if you can change the power settings up here, that means the battery is live. Switch it off just to... Well, it went off anyway. There's a pair of levels. But I just used the throttle, walk throttle. You can also switch it on and use the walk mode throttle. So I've got these wired up. These will be in the handlebar, obviously. So if I go like that. That's going. So I've got this off the floor, obviously. I wouldn't do this if it was on the floor. All the wires are out of the way. And this will actually go up to 25k kilometers per hour in walk mode. But that's with no load. If it was loaded, it would only do about 4 miles an hour. That's the maximum legal in the UK according to Electrohead's YouTube website. The throttle won't work with the LCD switched off. Doesn't work. The rest of this video is just waffling. Yeah, because I thought, you know, there would maybe be a green light at least. But I'm pressing this down with my nail, which I'm not happy about doing. For the rest of you, this will be the other way around because you will all have this. I couldn't fit it. It was too low down here, but I saw some guy that had fit a battery really low down here. It was for a rear motor, um, so I might try again, because it was a way down here. I might try again though, but uh, this is alright anyway. Up here like this, and I've ordered a bracket. You can get an adjustment bracket, and I've ordered that, and... Uh, so I'll see how that goes, but I'm not very hopeful actually. I should move it a bit further up, but there's a little gap between here. I'm not happy about that sort of stuff. Because this is only fitted on the bottle cage screws. It came with, it's got a three screw thing, but uh, I've not got a third screw, so uh, I'm sure most people don't, because we're using the bottle cages screws. I've put the spacer in here just to sort of, Thing there, but I'm guessing it'll fall out at some point because it's not fixed. These two are because they're through the screws. So I've just set this up. I'm new to e-bikes, so uh, that's why it's shambles. It's I've just got a power set up with that. Um, I've got this off the ground. To, uh, but I was just surprised because I thought there would be a sign there. You know, apparently Halong is just a battery case. And this would be a Halong type battery, down tube battery. And uh, so I don't know if Yossi Power actually make the battery inside. 
they have got a video on their YouTube site where it shows a factory putting the battery together. But I don't know if they own it or if they've maybe outsourced it, you know, to a, a manufacturer who does it for a lot of them. Maybe all the ones that use Halong type down tubes. So, yeah, as long as you've got this powered on, then you can have a few nail. My phone just crashed, by the way, that's why I'm sort of random here. And then that's off, it'll not work at all. Yeah, it does actually, I don't know why. Maybe it's just... Well, it's telling me that there's... It's power, but there's no power to the circuitry there. So it does tell you something there. You know, switch it on. Yeah, it tells me it's full power. It is fully powered, fully charged. Right, I hope that was useful. For the clueless, by the clueless. I had big plans for this video, but it all went wrong. And uh, my phone reset, so it's the best I could do, guys. What's hardly any viewers, so I'm not really bothered.